Welcome back to our cipher lesson and then this lesson we're going to write a little script to decrypt um, our unicodes and turn them back into plain text. So first of all let's turn this into a function. So we'll say def encrypt message and we'll put a colon there to define a function and then we will indent all of this so that we have a function that encrypts a message and then let's make one that decrypts a message so we're going to say def decrypt msg and we need to write the algorithm so we can um, get the encoded message to decrypt and we want to loop through each substring then we'll print it out. Alright, so again we will um, get the message from the user. And we'll just give them a prompt that says, please enter message to decode. And then what we want to do is um, loop through. So for each number in the string, so we'll do a variable called numString in our message variable which is holding the message. We want to use a split um, we want to split it and then we want to evaluate that um, number so we'll just make a variable called code num eval and um, then we'll worry we've got our num string and that should be a num scr so we're taking the number and um, that we've split off and we're turning it into a number and putting it into the variable num code the method eval turns our string into a number and then again we want to um, add it so let's say result is equal to result plus now we'll turn it into a character the letter so we use char to go the opposite way but we used or to turn a character into a number we're using char to take the ord and turn it back into a number. And we'll need to set up a variable called result. And it's going to be a blank string. And then we want to print out the message, so we'll say print. And then we have backslash n the decoded 
message is and we want to add the message. Let's do comma message. Um, I'm sorry, we need to actually use results because that's what has our message. So we can do this in one line. Or we can do it as we did above, which means that we're going to take this print statement, which is the header, and put it up here above our before we start walking through the numbers. And then we get down here, we're just going to print result. In fact, what we could do is take this print statement here and just put it right above here. text message and then we still need our blank, blank line and we can make these look the same so we can take this out here So this is relatively in the same place as the method above. We'll just put that right there. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to need to call either one of these messages. So we're going to say def main. We'll write a main method. Well, let's just call the, we just want to use the decryption message. No, so we want to use both. So now that we have them in functions, we have to call them. So we're going to make a main message. And then we'll call the first one. So we'll say um, encrypt msg. We'll call that one. And then we need to call the second one. So we'll say decrypt msg. And then let's and then we need to call the main method. So we'll type in main. And let's go ahead and run this. So we want to enter the message, so we'll say this is too cool. And there are the Unicode messages. Now enter the message to decrypt. So we'll just copy this using control C and we'll put that in our message to decrypt and hit enter and we have an error and it says the str object has no attribute um, split so I need to go back and look at my message and see what I did wrong so here we're making a blank result And it's our message that is ha is um, holding everything. So we get the message from the user. We're creating a variable called numString, and we are splitting the message. And then we're taking, we're splitting it and putting it into numString. And then we are taking numstring, evaluating it, 
and putting it into our variable code number. We're taking the code number, turning it back into a character, adding it to our message string here, our result string, and then we are printing out the result. Let's take a look at the actual error. It says that it's in line 23. Ah, and it's because I spelled split wrong. That's an easy fix. So we're going to go back here, and it should be S-P-L-I-T. Now we can run it. So this is too cool. Now we have our encrypted message. I can take our numbers, enter, and we decrypt the message. The decoded message is too cool. So that's it for this session, and in the next session, we'll show you how to add a loop to um, and give the user a choice of whether they want to encrypt or decrypt. And the loop will allow you to do the encryption and decryption as many times as you like. See you next time.